We are at Province 8. This is Province 8 Live. We are here with Eden's Dawn today. Eden's Dawn is a sensation. They are a phenomenon. They are a wonderful husband and wife. They are a team. They are a group. They are taking Houston by oh. storm. We're going to give them their flowers up front. Let's go. Let's I go. Love the intro. Let's go. The intro. So this is this is Eden's Dawn. We're at Province Eight Live. Um, this is our podcast, and we are talking to this wonderful, dynamic duo today, spreading love and positivity in the world. I love to see it. If you're not familiar with Eden's Dawn, they are streaming. They've got music out there that's amazing got an album out got an album out working on some new projects yeah. got some upcoming projects yes, sir. on the way a lot of uh, different things taking place so today we want to talk to you guys about who you are right what you've been doing what you're currently doing and what some of your future goals are we'll talk about this wonderful chemistry that you have that is rooted in love and faith. Let's talk about a little. Let's talk a little bit about that, and let's talk about family. So, I'm gonna hand it over to you, and get you to tell just tell us just a little bit about yourself. What you what you've been up to, what you're doing right now. Uh, let me know. Well, the past 12 months since we moved to Houston from San Antonio, Texas, um, we've hit the ground running. I mean, we said we was gonna do music. He believed in me and said, we're mm-hmm. gonna do music together. And um, it's been a force. I mean, we just out here loving each other out loud and singing to whoever wants to hear. Loving each other out loud, I loving like each that. Other out loud. I like that, I like that. King Jossie, yeah, man. tell us a little bit about what's going on, man. Tell us, tell us what you got going on today, how you feeling? Well, I feel good, I feel great, actually. Um, what we got going on? Well, you know, we started, uh, we're on our third, is our third event at the Province 8? We're our, at third we're, event. We're currently working on our third we're event, on third at, event at, at Province 8. Province yes. 8. The first two were amazing. Uh, we're going on our third one, January 10th. Uh, all white event right here at the Province 8 Studios. So um, the first one was amazing. Second one, same thing. Um, those are our shows. We here, we, we you know, uh, at the partnership with Province A, Eden's out of Province A. So that's been going. Before that, when we got to Houston, they said we hit the ground running, doing shows everywhere. Um, and it's crazy, as it's crazy how the fan base grew. Right. In just three months, it was like, it's like is that is that right? Did somebody buy? Buy me followers? Did, right, I really, right. did it really jump that high? Did right. it, that really what it looked like? So, but the I mean, the city of Houston has been real, very, very receptive to us. Good, good. Very receptive and to welcoming. us. Welcoming, welcoming the music, our brand. Um, they've been very supportive. It's nothing like when you performing and you're not Drake famous. You're performing and people know the words. Right. That's crazy. That's right. a beautiful feeling. So right. They've been real receptive to us, and I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's been yeah. Real. Get that energy from the people. Yeah, you guys are doing great. The events here at Province 8 have been awesome. You know, full transparency. Yeah. You know, we have worked together, right? Uh, this is still a very non-biased podcast, mm-hmm. even though of our right. relationship, right? right? <laughs> um, but I definitely, it's, it's something that we do here. We, you know, sit down and we have interviews with amazing, talented people who are in the Houston area um, that are contributing to the space. There's a lot. You guys have come from San Antonio um, to the Houston area, and you are currently contributing to the space. Um, and you are showcasing other artists around the city of Houston that have amazing talent with your shows and bringing, you know, some uh, viewership Right, bringing eyes, bringing attention Mm -hmm. on those artists as well with your show. So, I think what you're doing is is absolutely amazing. Um, Tell me a little bit about that transition from San Antonio to Houston. Was it hard? You know, what was 
What's that like? What is the, you know, how different is the landscape, the music scene in San Antonio you compared to Houston? Answers. You know, get two different <laughs> answers? Different okay, answers. let's, let's see what we got. What we got? Go was it hard? <laughs> was it hard? Was it hard? That's the first question. I don't want to say it was hard oh, okay. because it, it, I was making it hard mentally, but it was, um, I'm born and raised there. I don't okay. know. I didn't know anything else. Okay. So it was comfortable. So I was afraid of moving and being uncomfortable. I was like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if people are going to really like our music. And he was like, what can't we do there that we're doing here? Like, everything we're doing here, we can do that there, too. Right. And he was like, the only shots you miss are the ones that you don't take. Right. And so it was a nerve-wracking for me. But it's been an exciting roller coaster. Have you adjusted? I mean, have or now? How do you? Because you've been here. How long have you been here now? We've been here what eight months? It hasn't even been a year. It's been eight months. Um, do you feel like you've adjusted, or is it I still kind of? I wouldn't say kinda... adjusted. I think it don't even feel real. Okay. I think I'm still like, in a way, I didn't move to Houston and doing music. Still like and a dream. Taking myself was... serious with my husband. Let's go. This is crazy. And I would tell you, <clears throat> was it hard? Absolutely not. It was easy. Gotcha. Um. Uh, so coming out of D.C. for me, right? right um, I'm not from San Antonio. I came to San Antonio, uh, met her, never left. Right? Okay, gotcha, so gotcha. My my story's a little different. I right. wasn't as attached to it as she was, but um, nevertheless, I was running a, um, a restaurant in San Antonio, and um, once we started doing music, <clears throat> excuse me, once we started doing music, San Antonio, and Houston are different. Is it there are two different cities, especially for us in our community, our tribe, you know, our culture. It's not the same. Right. And what we stand for, um, sonically, you know, with the music, you know, we get a better response here. Now, prior to moving here, we were coming up here um, with uh, with uh, Inno Joe. Okay. We were coming up here. Okay. Um, we had some uh, business with him, and I got a chance to see the city for what it was. And the vibe of Houston, right? And uh, DC is Chocolate City. Houston's like a southern version of that, in my opinion. So I feel right at home. Being the only only difference is the accents that people right, have. Right, 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 so, right. So, um, but um, coming here, uh, as far as different San Antonio, and I would say it, it ain't it ain't uh, my home. So I can say it. they don't they don't support um, the radio stations, the people. Okay. What we're doing here didn't work when we tried it in San Antonio. Gotcha. Um, the people don't come together. The artists don't come together. So was it was it more on the not to interrupt, was it more on the the music scene, the live performances versus, or is it like the live performances, the radio play, the all of it, the, just the, all of it? Gotcha. The, the whole the whole system, whether right? it's the radio play, uh, people don't share your music. They don't even you know you'll follow somebody, they won't follow you back. No one comes out to your shows if they're not part of it. Um, there's no working together, there's no collaborations, there's no combining resources and making anything happen. Um, but you know, it's also because, I'm sorry to interrupt, San Antonio is more of a, um, it's a military, it's a military. Mil there's a yeah. military base out there? Which military base is out there? Yeah, it's like there's, five, isn't yeah, it? Four or five. There's, um, Fort Sam's. Randolph. Houston, Randolph, but yeah, it's a lot. And okay, then, gotcha. Yeah, they're they, like 15, 20 minutes of each other. Gotcha. They're like, it's, it's and so it's more of a, if you're ready to just settle down, and be with your family and you're not really into the nightlife um that's the place to go but if you're trying to start a business and you need support san antonio is not the place to go if you're not already established now i'm not saying that you can't make it happen there but it is going to be a little, a little bit more difficult because um i've been in san antonio my whole life and we were doing music there prior for at least a year or so not saying that we didn't get some traction but we've been here in Houston, and it hasn't even been a full year, and we've already developed a big amount of people that are fans and that come out and support. Versus in San Antonio, it wasn't it wasn't the same at right. all. It was it was totally different. And, and that's all I mean by it. it's the same thing. Like she said, it's a good city to live. But if you're trying to do something, what we're trying to do. So again, I told you I'm running a restaurant. I quit my job, um, took what I had, and moved to Houston right here in Katy. Um, moved to Houston just to do just for music because uh, after surveying the landscape I just believed in the city so much and they showed so much love and they were ready for what we have to offer the city was ready for it right. and uh, not just the uh, the people 
but even the other artists. You know, right. uh, we, we meet artists all the time, and then we're friends. Right. Like, we're friends. Right. Like, we, hey, come do the show. Yeah, I'll be there. And then they come. Even if they're not performing, they'll come out to support, and we do the same thing. So, man, I love you. So it was really easy for you guys coming here to integrate yourself into the environment, the landscape, the musical landscape, the performance scene landscape. We had shows booked before we even touched out. Wow, that's that's amazing. Before we even touched out, when I was in San Antonio, um, I said uh, most of the, a lot of the attraction when last to come to Houston was that you know it's attention we were getting from Houston while living in San Antonio. So I reached out to um, uh, reached out to uh, uh, Lady uh, Nate. yeah Lady Nate. Okay. And, um, Say hey, we're going. We're, even though we're going to be in the city in like two months, I think I had some time. And she was like, "Oh, I get you on the first show." She she, she has her uh, her step on Wednesdays there. Shout out to Lady Nate. Shout out to Lady Nate. Oh, at the getaway. And as soon as we got there, I got here. She was like, "Come on, come up here and do it." Right. And then we did that. <clears throat> I think a month later, we were performing for Epic Records. Wow. And then wow. like two weeks after that. Rock, you know, Rock Nation. Nation. Rock Nation. Yeah, yeah, we were with the Weatherman and all right. that, you know, you know, Big Bronx and all that. So it, things have been happening, you know, uh, Teddy Tuesdays is, is going crazy out Shout there. out to Teddy Tuesdays. Shout out to Teddy Tuesdays. Um, we're already doing, we're already booked for South by Southwest. Right. Uh, That's big motion. You guys got big motion going on. Motion, That's right? good, yeah. right? And then two years in, in, in San Antonio, crickets, like nothing happened. Nothing happening. And, and that's not nothing personal, just the city. It's, it's, not it's the, just not it's made not the, for that. It's not made for it's that. It's not the city. It, right. it's, it's just a city that is just not made for that. You right. know, it's, it's, you know, you know, a, 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 a Porsche coupe is nice, but you try to fit a family and it, it ain't designed for that. Right. So for the purpose you need it for, it's not going to be good. So, um, yeah, that's the question. It's very easy coming here and living here. Yeah. And, and you guys, you know, you, you're you just talking about fitting the family, you know, poor scoop. Um, you guys are family oriented. You have a you have a family, you know. Yeah, we do. You are working together as a, a duet, as a as a group, so to speak, right? I know you have individual projects as well, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. So yeah. I have dropped my first um, album last year. Okay. No, I dropped it this like, year. Like this year? Was it this year? 2023? It was, it was this year. I dropped it in April. Yes. The name of that project? What's the name of that Lou project? Lou Vixen. Lou Vixen. Lou Vixen. Um, if you wanted to know who Lou Vixen is, if you want to know her personality, this album lets you know like who I am. It lets you know how I love, right. um, how I deal with my emotions. Um, you can kind of hear who my favorite artists are listening okay. to it. Okay. And it just gives you insight about who I am. It's it's very personal. Okay. I would say. Um, he hasn't dropped his yet, but when he do drop his, he got some baby making music for y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. But, uh, <laughs> um, I had to, um, I had to show off my, uh, my album. And the reason why, um, I was doing mine before we were doing us. Okay. Because when I had, when the, when the music bug bit me and I was like, oh, this is what we want to do, um, it hit me a little faster than her. So I was ready to, to go and I was going and she wasn't there yet. So I had ran through my, I, mean, I got like an album and a half, almost two albums done. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But here's the thing. I noticed who I was with her vice who I was without her. Gotcha. And I noticed the response that gotcha. I got with her vice without her. Without her. And um, as good as my solo music um, is, and the response that I did get from it was good, but the Eden's Dawn response felt better in terms of it was more needed. Gotcha. It was more needed. I can see that. Without her, I'm him. Right. And he is, you know, um, he, he, he's, he's not he's not me. In a different space. In a different, different space. space. Different space. Right, right. So, me right. with someone, you know, going on five years, I've changed as a person. Right. And to get on that stage or to get in that booth, put that mic in front of you, and to be able to spit your truth, now it doesn't feel the same. Got you. It feels like I'm talking about something that something that's not current. Right. Right. A, pre a previous life. Yeah, a previous a life. A previous life. Yeah, I, I, it's like when I listen to my music, I feel like I'm reading a history book. Right. 
instead of Book of Current Events. Right, right. So um, the relevancy of the music doesn't hit the same. So I had to, it would definitely conflict with the music we have out now. Got it. So Got shelf it. it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay. Um, but our brand, is, our brand is very important. How we are perceived is very important. And I wasn't concerned with the message. I wasn't concerned. I just was like, I'm nice, so I'm just doing me. Yeah. But now... Uh, you come out with the Time Capsule a album down the road. Now see that you know part. what I mean? You come back and be like, hey, this is a nice little Time Capsule album, you know, like the Lost Files or something like that. No, we don't. And, you know, you, 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 you do that somewhere down the road, maybe, with that material. Right? I'm definitely not going to scrap it because it's good. I'm telling you, it's dope. It's right, fine. right. But it's just, yeah, I mean, I would have to figure out a, a way to like you said like a time like a, a way to put it out and, without, and have it have without it receptive being confused. right yeah right, right, being, right. like oh i need to hey this is you know yeah this is uh this is the uh we could put a real good video together this is the prequel to the movie that you're watching like, time before the dawn or something like time that. before the <laughs> dawn right. would be nice right i like that <laughs> look, look we're making the, magic happen here on the, the, dawn, the scene but uh, yeah it's definitely um it's definitely uh it's definitely good stuff it definitely but uh, i'm not I'm not, I'm just not him. I'm just not, uh, I'm not angry. I'm not, um, I'm not as, uh, materialistic. I'm not, um, you guys are in a good space. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, I met you guys about four months ago. We were having an event here. Mm -hmm. The lights didn't come on and we there were in, there right? was a storm that day, right? It was open mic night. Um, and you guys, it was the first time that you were going to perform here and, you know, uh, God, the universe, a higher power had uh, other plants. Right? The seed was planted and it was water. And that, you know, I think, you know, that really cemented um, my perception of you, right? Both of you. Because I know you came to perform and everybody came to perform, but, you know, usually... The lights go out. We didn't have a microphone. We didn't have anything. Um, everybody stayed, right? And it just really showed um, the character and the caliber of people that were in the room that night. Um, and then uh, what we shared, because it was almost like a, uh, uh, a kumbaya event without <laughs> the... Um, the drums without the drums and without the, the we fire, have, we did have acoustic guitars. We did have acoustics Destiny that night. There. Destiny was, was there. Other? Uh, Scion, that was the lady. Her name is Scion. Oh, that's oh, that that's the Scion you were talking about. Right, right. Got you, got yeah. you, got you. We was in the dark. I couldn't yeah. even remember her face because we was pitch black. It was pitch black. We didn't no have lights. lights. No we didn't power. have candles. We didn't have anything. And you didn't cancel the show. No, not at all. We just made it work. And we it made it work. And everybody yeah. really contributed. But you know the the authenticity of that night, the, the genuineness of the people that were there, uh, the character, like I said. Um, and then getting to learn your story, getting to um, see both of you together, getting to see the love that you share, right? And then identifying the music that you're making, because the music that you're making, even though it's in the R&B space, in a hip hop space, it is um, it is very different than what's currently out on the market. Um, how do you feel about the space that you're performing in with the music that you're presenting? Because it is very different than what's out there in the landscape right now. How how is that being received, and how do you how do you, how do you guys feel about what you're contributing to the culture? Um. You know, sometimes we get on the mic and we come and we're just loving each other and doing what we love and we're performing. But the responses that we get, it fuels us in a whole nother way. I didn't even realize that us loving each other was so healing. Um, mm. It's it's literally antibiotics yeah. for broken yeah. hearts. Yeah. I think that the way that you interact with each other, the way that, um, you know, the the... Uh, the genuineness in it um, it is infectious um, because you know I've been in relationships I'm, I'm not in a relationship now and I think that when I see what you guys have um, you know I can see how people want that for themselves right 
And we are in a space, I think, in our culture where, you know, divorce rates at 50%, if it's not higher than that, you know, a lot of people aren't getting married, you know, aren't really entering into relationships out of love. They're re entering into relationships out of, you know, um, some t other type of reason, right? Uh, we live in a capitalistic society, yeah. and so a lot of things are, um, you know, financial oriented, or um, you know, they're very on a surface level, um, very materialistic. And I think a lot of relationships nowadays are missing the core um, of what you guys have and what you exhibit. What keeps that going for you? Um, the, uh, for, for, I would say how necessary it is, um, there's a space for, there's a need for it. I would, I think that's what I would say. And even, we're, even while we're making the music, we're not even factoring in, oh, it needs this. It's just not true. Right. But the response tells us from other people is that, wow, man, that's, it's a nice, it's a breath of fresh air. It's a nice alternative to everything that's out. And I notice when we do the shows, when we do them with other artists, a lot of the times, we're like the only ones up there talking about what we're talking about. The only ones up there looking like what we're looking like. Um, the only ones up there, that's the only ones up there. Right. And so, so while we're doing it, it, it there, because there's a need for it, the supply and demand, I, I really believe I, if, you, if you move talent aside, Take away talent. Oh, they sing good. They rap. Good. They look good. If you do all that aside, I believe. I believe a lot of our recognition, a lot of our attention, a lot of our, a lot of that comes from. It's you're the only ones doing it. I haven't seen nothing like that. Right. So that keeps me going too. That keeps me doing. It. I'm like, baby, now it's, it's it's bigger than just doing music. We'll be letting a lot of people down if we stop. Right. You know, it's right. like it's like. And she don't want it, man. They need us. It's like, who who's talking like this? And it it's even going back to when I was talking about my, my solo album. The solo album, I'm looking at that, and I look at the music now, and I'm like, this is good, but they don't need that right now. Right, right. This is good, but they need right. to hear this. Yes, yes. And the fans, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the community, the right. supporters, right. they they say as much. Yeah. They're yeah. saying it. Yeah. So. No, look, when I heard your music the first time, um, I was completely, uh, what's a good way to describe? I was, um, you guys, you know, cliches took my breath away. You guys, um, oh, you. you know, kind of caught me, caught me off guard. <laughs> Uh, you you T-boned me, really, because I was like, it was not what I was expecting. And, and I had listened to your music um, prior to the first time I heard you perform. I'd heard some of your songs. Um, but when you perform, it's, it's different. It's, a, it's electrifying. Uh, you guys are performing your songs. Um, you're talking about love in a, <coughs> in a, in a very modern space right um and you are you're, you're almost like a time capsule because you invoke all of these emotions and memories that like for me that i grew up on when i heard like my parents listening to some you know some some smoky robinson or some marvin gay mm. you, you're, you're almost timeless with your sound right you can i mean it, it, it it's very present in modern 2024 but i could you know see like almost every song that you i've heard of yours um you know in a retro video that shows up somewhere in the in the, in the 60s or the 70s right um but when i heard when i heard you guys for the first time perform i was like these guys are different right they're not they're they're, they're so different that they're needed, right? They're needed. People need to hear, like the masses need to hear you. Um, because I think that we have a lot of the same 
that's out there right now, mm -hmm. and you guys are so much a breath of fresh air, Thank right? You. Um, you guys are so much a breath of fresh, of fresh air, and you're really needed in the space. Because um, we need to see, <coughs> especially our, 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 our young generation, right, of black males yeah. and little, little black males and little black ladies, right? Yeah. Uh, they need to see this, right? Because we have a lot of uh, negativity um, from a cultural standpoint um, that is so commonplace. Right. And, um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of positive images out there. So you guys are great. Um, I, I don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on your shoulders uh, with, you know, with, with saying all of that. But, you know, how do you guys feel about, you know, your contribution, not only to the music culture, but to like black family? Oh, that's that's our most, that's the most important part. Gotcha. That, that's important for us to. Um, that nuclear uh, uh, family, you know, that's the most important. Like you said, you heard your mom playing what she said, Smokey, Martin. Yeah, Hill, yeah. I, I grew up in a different, you so, know, there's reggae and all kinds of well, stuff, but we we listen that to feel good music. So we we listen. That's how they felt. Yeah, we all we music. all consume movies, music, the books we read. Like we all consume what we can identify with. Um, our parents were married, right. You know, right. they listen to what Anita Baker, right? You know, when you say they, oh, they yeah. listen to that, yeah. so that fed that love they listen to fed them, and in real life, they just all they did was just disseminate the all the they, they was a conductor for all the love that they were just disseminating. Right, it was coming in and going back out. So that that's why your mom listened to it, and in turn it fed it to you too because you're playing it. Right. So, and that's how the family kept going right there. You know, Saturday while you're cleaning up, you're, you're listening to it. Yeah, 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 you're you're just cyclical. listening to it. Yeah. So then you go to the clubs now, and I'm guilty because the, I, there's a life, there, there's a version of me before her. Right. But we outside, we're in these clubs, and we're in these spaces, and we're fighting. We're killing, we're killing. Yeah. And we're, we're angry, but we're listening to murder music for the four hours or five hours we're in the club. Yeah. You know? Um, I'm materialistic, not no more. I was, uh, but I wanted to get money because that's all I listened to was get money music. You know, wanted to hustle. You know, how, how I'm going to have this at the age of 16, 17? How can I have these things? I ain't old enough to get a job that, that, can, I, that can, you know, foster these things. Right. But I want it now. Right. So, oh man, oh, Jay Z did this. Oh, this person did this. This guy did this. So I'm going to do it too. Right. So, Going back to how it affects the, the black family, I'm not, I can't make all this stuff go away. But all I can do is give an alternative, give an right. option. You right. can't, you're not gonna make all the McDonald's and Burger Kings go away. Right. But no, you, you, if you set up a, a maybe a, a healthier spot okay. on the corner, maybe they'll go to it. The, the people who wanna get healthy, they'll come. They'll go. You yeah. won't, you won't attract the ones who not. Right. But, the ones that, that do want it and they're looking for it and they're saying if they can't find it, I gotta eat something, so I'm gonna eat this McDonald's. Right, right. Instead of saying, Man, I don't wanna eat McDonald's and oh look, is that eat this Don salad? So I'm gonna go over there. Right. And now so it's an option, but you gotta set up shop. Yeah. You gotta put it there. Yeah. So if you build what's, what's that movie? If you build it, they'll come. If you build it, they'll that come. That baseball movie. Feel the dreams. Feel the dreams. Feel the dreams. They said he said if you build it, they'll, they'll come. come. So it has to be somewhere to go. Right. To make people come to. Right. So we're just another alternative. That's all we are. No knock on anybody else or but any other music that's out there. So. Yeah, I love it. Love out loud. Yeah. I love it. We are here with Eden's Dawn live at Province 8. This is our podcast. Our guests tonight are Eden's Dawn. Recently relocated from San Antonio. Stepped out on faith. Stepped out on love. Mm -hmm. Taking Houston by storm. That mm. part. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing on on the ground, boots on the ground. Like, where are you performing? Where can people see you if they go out? Like, where is Eden's Dawn going to be? Well, right now, every month, we're hosting an event at Province AR Studio. Shout out to Ezra. Um, as of now, that's all I got for you because um, we got some other things coming and we got to keep it. We want to surprise you, so 
Well, I'm not going to talk about it yet. Without, that, sounds, that sounds big. That sounds big. I will say, um, without giving away too much, you know, shout out to Fash. Okay. Shout out to Fash. Shout out to Fash. And um, uh, we do have a reality TV show. A uh, situation we're a part of. We'll give y'all more details as they come That's to awesome, us. That's awesome, bro. But well, they came to us, and we're, we're allowed to say it, we will. That's awesome. Um, uh, said Teddy Tuesday, South by Southwest. Yes. Got that going on. This February, February. South by Southwest. No, February Teddy Tuesday for R&B night. Mm-hmm. R&B couples night, and of course, you know Teddy called Eden's on. Why wouldn't she? Uh, for <laughs> that. Um, oh, Friday. Uh, next Friday. Yes. The, the, I don't have at, at all the sports the bar. Okay. Can, can we not talk about that yet? I don't have all the full details. Okay, so we'll get back with y'all on that. But, but yeah, that's we, that's going to be here in Houston. That's yes. going to be Sugarland, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. In Sugarland, yes. Okay, yes. awesome. In Sugarland. Awesome. Sugar that's correct. Awesome. So we got that coming up. Good. Um, album. I mean, we're looking at February. Um, Eat is Dawn, Love, The Real Threat album. That's our second one. Okay. So, um, We'll keep y'all posted on the exact date. On how many that. how many songs on that album? Um, we're, we're choosing from around like thirty or forty, but wow. we're, we're, it's, all, it's only going to be like 12, active, 30, active. 30. You it's guys are active, crazy active. It's man, no, this this is all we do, Ezzy. All yeah. we do is sit and we write, yeah. we record, yeah. and we perform. Yeah. This really life for us. This so is like, your life. Not, not this is your this job. is your life. Yeah, yeah it's not a part time job. This is this is what we do. This is what we want to do. Right. Um, uh, that's what demand the demand is for. I mean, yeah, this is what we're born to do. So that's all we do. That's good. This music. Yeah, I, I, I love to see it. You guys live it. You breathe it. Um, it's real. You're sharing it. You're sharing your gift. You're sharing your blessing um, with the people. Um, that's amazing. Um, I want to know what type of what type of impact. What type of impact does sharing your gift, right, getting up every day? I know it's life, right? I know you're, you wake up, you've, you're, you're taking care of whatever it's you got to do in the house, whatever you've got to do to get, you get through your day, but you're still producing. You said you're picking from 30 to 40 songs. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of work. That's commitment. That's drive. That's some late nights. That's early mornings. That's, you know what I mean? Um, you got to go record it. You've got to, you know what I mean? Um, so that's work. What does that, what does that do? What does going out, doing the shows, what, how do you manage that with the family life, with the structure, with taking care of the kids, with getting to school? How does, how does that work? You know, how does, how does that work for you? So keeping everything in perspective and prioritizing things based on the priority, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, first. So nothing trumps that. Uh, our marriage second, nothing trumps that, mm. right? Family third, nothing trumps that. Then there's the music, right. nothing trumps that. So doing everything in the order of importance and priority, that's how you do it. Because people, you ever heard somebody say, um, I don't know, take, an, take a celebrity and he says, I had a failed marriage. I couldn't find a balance between work and my relationship. Well, you shouldn't have been trying to find a balance. Your relationship should have just came first. Gotcha. That should have been the priority. Gotcha. You do that, and then you do the, the, the work. The work. If, if, you know, take the relationship out of it. You know, you're single, whatever. Right. I'm trying to find a balance between my personal life, having fun, and my, my goals. You shouldn't be trying to find a balance. Do the goals. Right. And if there's something left, then you have a personal life. But right. you should be able to sacrifice that. Right. So um, getting up in the morning, keeping the main thing the main thing, and then moving on from there. That's what's important to you. And that's how you get things done. We got all these songs done. We do shows all the time because we prioritize it. It's important to us. Now, do I have much of a social life? Do I have guys laid out? Do so you have girls laid out? Not so much. Right. If at, if at all. But that's because that's not what's important. Yeah. And you should, be willing, you should be willing to sacrifice, you know, the current year of your life. You sacrifice that for the rest of your life. Not a lot of people are willing to sacrifice, though. You know and, what I mean? Not a lot of people are willing to sacrifice. We're, 
we're very blessed. But that's why it's special for the people that do. Thank you guys. Like you said, there's not a lot of people willing to do it. But um, you got to have purpose in life and a, a mission, a, a goal. I Me, mean, a soldier without a mission, just standing around. Right. You know, so. Right. And we do feel like we have a mission. We have a message to spread, um, a vibe to vibrate. And that's why we do it. And because we stay keen on that, it really makes it easy. It's really not hard. It it actually be harder for me to be out right now um, shooting dice on the corner or or, or or doing something different yeah. than where I'm at right now because right. this is this is a uh, this is business. Right. It'll right. be hard for me right. to do something that has nothing to do with business. Right. You no, know, if I'm not in the gym, you know, with, with, with the kids, with her doing music, you know, or in my studies, then I'm like, then what? I'm wasting time because those are more important. And you know, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. When you, when you, with the children, we do it also for our children because there's not a good example out there for them. Like in the world, it's just it's all the trash, and we do our best to stick together in our relationship to keep the most high first and to show them don't settle. Don't just get a nine to five and just work every day. If there's something in you that's nudging you and saying you could do it, do it. It requires sacrifice. It requires long nights. You know, they're here with us right now while we're doing this interview. But I'm showing them this is how you do it. This is how you love. This is how you keep the most high first. This is how you stay focused. This is what it looks like. Right. It's not always pretty. Right. Sometimes it's staying at one place for hours. And you got to make sure that you keep yourself together and you keep doing it. And so it's deeper than the music. It's also showing our children, this is how you pursue your dreams. And this is how you do it. And this is what it looks like. But this is going to be the end result of it if you stick to it. So that part. It's, yeah. it's, it's more than yeah. the music. It's, yeah. it's deep. And it's healing, too. Yeah. Loving him makes me better for the world. Not like really like when I love him, it makes me want to sing better it makes me want to to do more it makes me want to dig deep this is infectious i love it <laughs> this is this is i mean but this is um this is the kind of love this is the kind of relationship this is the kind of leadership that i would love to see um more of taking place amongst our people within our culture um and uh i'm so glad that you guys are here today to share thank you that with us all right eden's dawn love out loud thank you so much all right uh taking houston by storm um we appreciate you being here today thank you so much for having thank us thank you guys. you're welcome all right man. you're welcome all right bless up you're welcome thank you so you're much welcome. queen <laughs> You're welcome. I love it. <laughs>